Hey guys, Jason here. Uh, I've been working on this center beam car. I had two cars. I'll show you the other one. Uh, this one here. And I've got these plastic uh, car loads. I believe they were from Walders. Uh, warehouser building supplies. Well, as I mentioned in one of my other videos, I had to 86 the warehouser thing and I've got to go with um, Georgia Pacific because Georgia Pacific is the the only company in the Northern California that I'm aware of that makes sheetrock and distributes other building supplies. So kind of works with my theme for the facility. So because I can't use these Weyerhaeuser um, car loads, I decided to change them up a little. So I took them and I wrapped them in uh, just white paper uh, and then wrapped that white paper in um, saran wrap. And I taped all that uh, inside and then I can put those car loads in there and they actually look uh, a lot like um, the car loads that I've seen coming out of the Georgia Pacific facility up in um, Northern California here in the Bay Area. I believe it's Antioch or Concord, somewhere up in that area. Uh, in any case, uh, what I wanted to do is tie these loads in. So I've taken string and I think string maybe isn't the best thing to use. Um, maybe some thin wire might be better, but I had string on hand and I wanted to try it, so that's what I'm using. Got this little pin vise, and I've been drilling little holes in top and bottom so that I could pass the wire through. And I'm tying it in and just putting a tiny little dab of CA with this little piece of uh, wire just on the, the string there to hold it in place. So, drilled holes here, I drilled holes up here. Uh, and then I'll slide these in. So I'm going to flip this over now. Uh, I've got all the wire strung up through one side and through the, the top holes. i got to drill these holes out here, uh, load the car loads in, tie them down, and, uh, and then glue them off and see how that looks. Now, um, I've got four of these cars, four of these center beam cars, uh, two of which I've already weathered, this being one of them. Um, these two have not been weathered, and I probably should have started weathering it before I did it, but I didn't. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and keep moving forward with it, and I guess I'll look into weathering it after I get this tight in. I'm probably just going to use chalk anyway, and maybe a little bit of a black wash. I, I don't know. We'll see. But um, that's the plan, so uh, let me work through this. Now the hard part is getting the wire through it. I'm using this little sewing needle to try to clean the holes out. There's a little flashes of plastic that stick on there. And then the hard part is pushing the wire all, actually all the way through. And this one I have a trim, so let me trim that one up. So what I've been doing is I've been pushing the wire through with the little drill bit and then I try to just grab it here with the little sew. Oh, that didn't work out that time. I try to grab it through the other side of the hole with this little sewing needle. So it's not exactly the easiest chore, but it works. Alright, so I just got my first side in. Got the strings all pulled through. So that's pretty much what it's going to look like in the end. I got to flip it over now and feed all these wires back through these holes and tie them off which is no fun but that's what i gotta do to make it work so that's my next few minutes all right so that finishes up this car i got all the ties on i had to drill everything out run string through tie them onto these down here and then i put a little bit of ca on it to to bind it in so i think it looks pretty good i'll have to weather the car still um, but I don't know. It was better than throwing away these uh, these plastic things. So I'll probably do this one as well. I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably sit it on my layout for a while and see if I like it. I'm not sure if I do. All right. Not. So I'm just doing a really quick, dirty weathering job. I've just taken a little bit of India ink, mixed in a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. Just real dirty, quick kind of weathering just getting some muck on there that's really all got a little bit of muck built up here in the corner which I'm not too happy about because 
think it got in and got the paper wet, but I'm not too worried about it either. I don't think a little dirt on your load is really going to hurt anything. So anyway, that's that. Once this kind of sets up, I'll hit it with a little bit of chalk and call it all done. Alright, so that's all finished up. I got that all wrapped up. The wheel, uh, wheels and trucks are all weathered. Everything's all weathered up, tied in. So I'm going to call that project done. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, if you have any other ideas, things I might do different. Uh, I'm not 100% sure I like it, but I'll leave it on the platform for a while. So, Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think.